Hello YouTube family, welcome to a new practice. My name is Flo, welcome to the mat. If it's your first time, welcome to the channel. If it's your thousand, thousandth time, welcome back. Today is a well-rounded vinyasa flow practice. We're moving in all directions, targeting the body with different inputs, with different angles, different movements. And we are, of course, connecting to the breath, working on establishing a good breath, a good breathing rhythm that we can take with us for the rest of the day. And we also work on calming and evening out the mind. So we slow down the thoughts and find more evenness and peace and calm within. So it's a well-rounded practice and we will start at the back of the mat in a seated position. You can sit cross-legged or sit on the heels. And this is a short practice today just 20-30 minutes or something and so if you need and want long classes at least one hour you will find them from us only on patreon so you can head there all the information is also in the description below and you can do long practices here on youtube it's only short classes let's come into a seated position hope you arrived you're settled in close your eyes sit tall Sit relaxed, but also alert. And take just the next five breaths to fully arrive. Give yourself permission to be here, to practice. Connect to your breath and connect to your intention. The intention for the practice today is very important. Something deep within, deep inside. That we access through the breath through the movements and by slowing down the thoughts, calming down the mind. Interlace your fingers in front of you, blink your eyes open and start to roll out the wrists. Doesn't matter which direction we're going to do both. We're keeping the wrist warm up pretty simple, pretty short today. Switch directions. I usually like to spend some more time on it, but since it's a short class, there's also so much more to share. Shake out the hands. If you need more, then please do more. And let's come into a downward facing dog. Take your time to arrive, move around, move in all the ways that feel good, all the ways you need to be moving so that you can fully arrive. Take the next three or so breaths to do so. And we'll meet back in a downward facing dog. Hide the heels behind the ankles. We roll through the spine forward into a plank pose, shoulders over the wrist, tuck your tailbone, and engage the core. And send the hips up and back, downward dog. Let's do two more like this. Roll forward, shift forward, plank pose. Bring it up and back, downward facing dog. One more forward. And back. Let's bring the feet wider apart. You can continue to roll forward into a plank if you want. But I will be moving through plank into upward facing dog. So when you're in plank, engage the glutes to lower the hips. Look straight ahead, not up. Open the chest, the collarbones. Chin to the chest. Roll up and back, down dog. Two more into upward facing dog. Back 
back to downward facing dog. Let's walk the feet forward between the hands. Take a deep breath in, lift up halfway, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Connecting breath to movement, one more. Inhale, lengthen, lift. Exhale, fold down. Bend the knees, roll up to standing from the bottom of the spine to the top. Take a deep breath in, the arms reach up, palms touch at the top. Again, when still moving with the breath, exhale, hands down to the heart. Bring the wrists in line with the elbows, press the palms together. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart, bring the palms down. One more, inhale, reach up, palms touch, exhale, bring the hands down. Release the hands down by your sides and tuck the chin to the chest, keep the legs straight and roll from the top of the spine down into your Forward fold, nice and slow, take your time, keep the breath slow and controlled. Feel the big toes, the connection to the core, the deep front line. Take a deep breath in, lift up halfway. Exhale, step the left foot back, low lunge, left knee down, untuck the left toes, inhale, reach the arms up. Engage the left glute to open the left front hip, lengthen the tailbone down. Reach the arms up and push the left knee slightly forward. Pull the right heel slightly back to activate into the legs. Release the hands down. Bring the hands behind you. Interlace your fingers. Remember which thumb is on top. And on the inhale, open the chest. Open the collarbones, the heart. Maybe look up. Reach your hands towards the left heel. On the inhale, release, reach the arms up again. Exhale, revolved, low lunge, left arm forward, right arm back. Reverse if you want to, reach your left arm up and over the head. On your next inhale, back to low lunge, both arms up. Exhale, hands down to runner's lunge. Move the fingertips a bit more forward, if accessible. And then we send the hips back, straighten both legs and lift the, the ball of the foot up. And then we bend again and straighten. So we're kind of bouncing back for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Back to runner's lunge, plant the hands down. Three-legged dog, right leg up and back. Bend the right knee, open, stack the hips. Come high onto your left toes, inhale. Exhale, right knee to the chest. Slowly land the right foot between the hands. Crescent lunge. Inhale, rise up. Make sure you can see the right big toe inside the right knee. Move the left heel a bit more forward so you can also stretch out the bottom of the left foot as well as the toes, especially the big toe. And from here we start to move with the breath again. So inhale is crescent lunge. Exhale, we straighten both legs, hands down by your sides. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, straighten the legs, hands down. Inhale, five, four, three, two, and one. We are in crescent lunge. Now right arm down, left arm forward. We shift forward, warrior three, but we switch the arms as we come forward. So the right arm 
comes forward, left arm comes back. Step it back, press and lunge, switch the arms, five, four, three, two, and one. We come one more time forward now for warrior three. Hands to the heart for this variation. Reach the left toes back. We start to bend the standing leg for five squats and straighten. Five, four, three, two, one. Rise up to standing for standing pigeon. Cross the left ankle over the right thigh. Hands to the heart, send the hips back, lower the chest down towards the shin. Keep the left foot flexed, reaching towards the left knee. Dorsiflexion in the left foot. Draw the belly in, navel in. And we rise up to standing again on the right leg. Draw the left knee up towards the chest and then we open the left hip, slowly kick the left leg back for a big step back to Skandasana. Spider lunge. From here we move the right hand to the right, pretty far away from your right hip. We use the left arm to swing it from the in front of you to your right wild thing, open the, with the left arm, lift the hips, press into your right palm, glutes are engaged, and then keep rotating with your left hand to the left and down as you come back down for Skandasana. Slowly come back, move to the front of the mat, place the right hand next to your pinky toe, reach the left arm forward and then we extend the right leg back but keep the left hand lifted off the ground the whole time for awkward plank. You're holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one plank pose. We all meet here. Now we bring the hands wider apart, almost as wide as the mat, so that your fingertip, your index finger, is still on the mat. Then the left hand bring it a bit more forward, the right hand a bit back, so it's uneven there. Both hands are not in line. Now we shift forward one push up. And then we switch right hand forward, left hand back, one push up. Switch, push up, that's three. Switch, push up, that's four. Switch, push up, that's five. Last one. Back to plank. Your vinyasa on your own. Your transition to a downward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Let's lift the heels, bend the knees, walk the feet forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale to fold. One more inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale, step the right foot back, low lunge. Other side, untuck the right toes, inhale, reach the arms up.
release the hands down and back behind you, interlace your hands, now the other thumb is on top, open the front, open the chest, the heart, reach the hands towards the right heel, inhale brings you back up, exhale right arm forward, left arm back, <clears throat> inhale to reverse, back to low lunge, both arms up, deep breath in, exhale hands down, runner's lunge, hands slightly forward, we straighten the legs, lift the toes up and back to runner's lunge, straighten, lift, reach, hips back and bend for 10, 9, find this rhythm where the fascia tissue responds and recoils and bounces back, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, runner's lunge, three-legged dog, left leg up and back. Bend the left knee, open, stack the hips. Take a deep breath in, come high into the right toes. Exhale, left knee to the chest, hold for a moment, deep breath in. Exhale, land the foot. Crescent lunge. Now we again start to move here with the breath. We straighten the legs, hands down. On the exhale, inhale, arms up, crescent. Exhale, straighten the legs, arms down. Inhale, crescent. Five, four, keep the lips sealed, breathe only through the nose. Three, two, and one. Back to crescent. Now left hand down, right arm up, we come forward to warrior three variation with one arm reaching forward over the head, some people call it airplane, shift forward, left arm forward, right arm back and step it back, right arm up, five, four, three, two, and one, and warrior three, hands to the heart, lower the right hip down, reach the right toes back, start to bend the left knee for one-legged squats, five, bend, straighten, four, bend, straighten, three, two, one, rise up to standing on the same leg, standing pigeon, cross the right ankle over the left thigh, hands to the heart, fold the chest down towards the shin, we're just looking for a sensation here, no matter how deep you can go, doesn't matter how it looks, reach the right toes up towards the right knee, so if you look to the right foot in this moment, it should be very active, dorsiflexion. Draw the belly in, spine is long. And let's rise up to standing here. Right knee up towards the chest. We open the hips, slowly kick back, land in Skandasana. Side squat or spider lunge. The left hand now goes to the left side of you and we use the right hand to move, make a circle to the left as you inhale, lift the hips, engage the glutes. Continue the circle. 
and slowly come back down. Beautiful work from here we move forward to the front of the mat. Place the left hand next to your pinky finger, reach the right arm already forward. Awkward plank, extend the left leg back. Lower the right shoulder more down. We're holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Plank pose. And one more round of uneven push ups. So get into your uneven position. For me, it's left hand forward, right hand back. And then shift forward, bend the arms, straighten and switch. Two, three, four, five, last one, six. Back to plank. Clean it up. Knees down, elbows down, your vinyasa, your transition to down dog. If there's any other one you want to do, go ahead. Let's hold downward dog, let's all meet here. In the long classes on Patreon, I sometimes hold down dog for up to five minutes, sometimes 10, close to 10. But uh, here on YouTube, this would be half of the video. And I want to offer some more variety. But down dog is a great meditation position. So I invite you to meditate now. We're just doing one minute here. So close your eyes. Establish a down dog that works for you, even if it's legs bent or if you can't do any more than child's pose, but really try to not give up. Instead, surrender into the position, into the practice. Do little movements, adjustments with your physical body. See how it changes the physical and also how it changes the subtle body how the energy changes, what do you notice, recognize, maybe remember. With your eyes closed, set the knees down for Balasana, child's pose, feet together, knees wide, fold down, rest your forehead down to the mat. It was a pretty quick practice, energizing pretty quick. Now it's time to go into the yin part of the practice, more gentle, more slow, calm, cool, feminine. Slowly push yourself up and we bring the legs forward to come onto the back. You can either lean or sit to one side, bring the legs forward or you come more through a lolasana kind of position. And we come onto our back into happy baby, grab the outside edges of the feet or behind the knees 
or grab from the inside the heels. If there's any other one, two poses you want to do, we now have about five slow deep breaths to do any variation that feels good for you to finish up your practice. Happy baby is a great pose to be in. Now my son is also starting to do happy baby. He just discovered his feet as of filming this and it's great to see we can do happy baby together. One of my favorite poses, I think. Happy baby. Maybe it brings back some old good feelings from back then. Let's hug both knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice hug, a big hug. And then you have two options. You can either extend the legs forward for Shavasana, lay on your back, or you rock up to come to a seated position. I will come into a seated position and finish up here, but you can do whatever position you want to on the back or in meditation. Wherever you are, let's continue the practice together. Let's also finish together. Close your eyes, sit tall, alert, but relaxed in your med meditation position. If you're seated, if you're on your back, fully relax the body, the toes, the hands, the arms, the legs, the hips, your back, your chest, your belly the shoulders, the neck and the head. Wherever you are, eyes are closed and you let go of controlling the breath. You're still breathing through the nose, lips are sealed because only the nose is designed and meant to be used for breathing. Only the nose can warm the in incoming air. Only the nose can properly filter it and moisten it. The mouth can't do that. It's not meant to be used for breathing. In fact, it causes many issues in the body, disease and many issues. So take this into account for a moment, contemplate on it that you were given with a nose you can breathe through. If it's kind of stuffy and clogged, we have some practices on the channel to help open it. But let's focus on the breath coming in and out through the nose for the next two minutes in silence.
Slowly bring the hands to the heart, the palms touch. Thank yourself for showing up, for making the time to practice. And I want to thank you for allowing me to share this practice with you today. Thank you for supporting this channel so we can provide more yoga for the people for free here on YouTube. Your support is very important. It does make a difference. So at least consider clicking the subscribe button, the like button. It's weird to say after yoga practice and after meditation, but it's important for the channel to survive, to continue, and it does make a difference. So at least consider it. Thank you very much. And this was just a short practice of the sequence of this class today, just a short version. I also recorded a long version, which is a bit more than 60 minutes. It's available on Patreon. If you feel like maybe tomorrow you want to take the long version of this class, then click below in the description and you will find all the information there. Have a beautiful rest of your day. And again, thank you for practicing with me and making time to practice. I really only provide these videos and show you the door, but you are the one that's making the time to show up and to actually do them. So I'm very proud of you and looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Much love. Have a great day.